Now we're going to experiment with something. Can I actually just unmute this game now? Yes. Yes, I can. Haha. <laughs> okay. So, I'll let you guys make the choice, what we do, because we have multiple choices for this. So I have a bunch of tins and booster boxes and all that stuff and whatnot, and yeah. I should get a drop shadow behind, behind the number, shouldn't I? Yeah, whatever. The number can just, you know what? Because I'm going to be set up like this, let me get the number. Number can just chill up here where it's actually visible. Shouldn't really focus on viewer numbers, but whatever. Apparently everybody who streams has this. So, I'll I'll show you the things and what I feel like should be the most appropriate in terms of when we should open in what order. So we have a small tin of Pokemon Go, of the Pokemon Go set. The light reflecting on it makes it a problem. We have the Pokemon Go set. This has four booster packs. And I'll, I'll show all the contents too, because apparently you just do that when you make, when you do things with Pokemon cards now. That has four booster packs in it. Uh, we have this... I don't know what set this is, but this is the set that features the Hisuian Pokemon. And I specifically got Typhlosion because Typhlosion, Ty, Hisuian Typhlosion goaded. Uh, this has five booster packs. And this... There you go, now I can see it. There were like... There were like ten of these at the store. Still, I think this is like the oldest, like current, like this. I think this is the oldest allowed in rotation set right now. And there were 10 of these uh, elite trainer boxes just chilling there. No, no booster packs, by the way. I would have just bought booster packs or booster packs. No booster packs. Just, just these weird tins. Uh, this one has a lot of stuff actually, but this one has 10 booster packs. This one has the most. So I'm thinking we'll start kind of in the order presented. We'll go from the Go crossover set to the Hisuian set, to this one. But only if you guys are okay with that with that, uh, cord uh, with that uh, compilation. With that setup, as it, rather. So, while you guys give me an answer to say yes or no, I'm going to go ahead and open up a few of these. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the plastic on these, so give me a second. Koi slash Dr. Meaver is okay with that. Ashley or any other liquors, if you're cool with that, I guess let me know. Okay, that one's open. I have a lot of plastic to go through. Hey, my garbage can's right here. You remember that remember that safeguard to make sure my green screen didn't, didn't swivel awkwardly? That's my garbage can. This one I can just use the perforated edge to unload. And I will tell you guys right now, like, I'm op I'm gonna open these. I'm gonna do, like, nothing with these cards after I open these. Like, they're literally just gonna sit and collect dust in the corner. I just randomly just like, huh, Pokemon cards. I used to buy a lot of them back in the day. Oh, hey, there's some packs here. I'll buy some packs just for the fun of it. They're literally just gonna sit and collect dust. I will not lie to you. Like, unless, unless randomly... One of the two people that I know still deal with TCG on a regular basis are just like, hey, you want to play set? It's like, okay, yeah, I can slap together a deck again, sure. It won't be good, but I can slap together a deck. So, how many... The dream is to get full arts or secret rares. How many do you think I can pull out of this? Uh, these, uh, what's going to be like effectively 21 packs. How many do you think I can uh, grab out of there? Two? Two combined between uh, secret rares and full arts? So that's kind of the dream in the averages, too. I'd be happier if I got, like, frick what? Three? All right. We've done enough mucking about. And this will be fun to do this, because, hey, uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah, I have to, like, well, I have to, like, Put the, I have to put it in front of you and thumb through it all with you looking at it. So again, this is the Pokemon Go tin. 
for anything that's by the way for anything that's like it becomes see-through and like you can see the background behind it that's that's just green just just know that's green i could turn on i could turn off the green screen but we're not going to so the let me look at what we got here is this a this is the promo card so this is probably gonna go somewhere oh no i get it's two it's two cards huh so you get two promo cards with this uh, Go Tin set. Let me turn that out. So this is. Let's see if we can get a good focus on that. Somewhat. There we go. So yeah, buddy, buddy Bolt. Uh, if you played a supporter card from your hand during this turn, this attack does 30 more damage. So it's a lightning and two colorless for that. That's actually a little expensive. But that's 60 damage for three. Best case scenario. That's actually kind of bad. Yeah, these are both 60. So, and they both have like similar things. So we got, so we got this Pikachu. It was right behind it. Uh, gift delivery. Sorry, it's it's hard for me to read it. So you guys reading it's probably hard too. I'll just read it like this. Uh, flip a coin. If heads, search your deck for an, for an item card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. That is actually probably pretty good for an electric for electric based uh, electric based teams that have uh, where items actually kind of help the game a lot. Not supporter cards or stadiums, just items. So like Pokeball. Like Pokeball is the only one that's like still stable. I guess Rare Candy is also in the series, still in the game. So like Rare Candy, Pokeball. You know, items like that, but otherwise I feel like that's it's a little bit Garboder. Also, I have I have noticed I do say Garboder a lot instead of Garbage. It, it, without Pokemon in context, I do say it like that. Uh, there is a code card in here, which I'm not probably going to use it or anything myself, but I'm also going to be weird and hold on to it for myself. So there's a code card for the tin. And there's the packs. There's the packs. The four packs. Count them. Each, Ni, San, Yon. There are stickers. Oh, that's actually. Yep, there are. There's a sticker set where. Good lord, the light. I have. The light is super harsh, isn't it? Where there's the monster, there's the monster right there that probably commands every single, every single, uh, what do you call it? Out, go post or whatever you want to call them. Blissey, much like in Gen 4, Blissey is the Pokemon you never wanted to see when you, if you play, if you go to a uh, gym. You never want to see Blissey sitting on top of that gym because it's just going to eat damage. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm going to put the stickers back in the tin. Now this I may actually use, because there are, oh god, there's four codes? So I'm not going to show them, but there's this sticker sheet in here, because it's a cross-promotion Pokemon Go. So this Pokemon Go thing, there's codes, I don't know if they're for items, or if they get you some extra uh, in-game currency, or what. But yeah, I'm going to stick that next to my phone so I can register some of those codes. Anyway. pack a pack a pack Pick a pack, pick a pack a pack. So a lot of these packs, a lot of these packs mostly feature Gen 1 Pokemon, because that's how Pokemon Go started, yeah? Oh, I should probably actually also bring uh, this pack over. I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set cart, I've got this little plastic shelf thing here. I'm gonna set like the good cart inside of it, and then I'll sleeve them or whatnot later on. Or maybe I'll put them back in this tin. So, not that song. So let's open up some Pokemon packs. Also kind of a nice time to just, you know, chat with you guys again. Back to chatting. We'll go back to playing more Hollow Cure and like, once we get done with this, whenever my brain wants to stop going 100 miles an hour and things, but. This is the night. I will say like, I, I mean, I realize I've only been streaming for an hour, which actually I'll have nothing. So that's another thing. Okay. A lot of times, I am all or nothing when it comes to streaming. I'm a lot of all or nothing when it comes to streaming a lot of times. 
So the reason why I, I haven't been streaming a lot is because like I have an hour. I have an hour of spare time. I don't want to stream for an hour. Nobody's gonna stick around for an hour. That's that's too that's too little time. And then the source the source star stream, you know, the Hollow Live or the VTuber culture, an hour out of their day is not uncommon. So apparently I'm just being weird and saying at least a two hour stream. Nothing less. I'm the weird one. So code card on the back. And I will say, like, a lot of people do the pet like I will Hold on, let me quote, let me pull off my best Devin, aka Marilyn here. A lot of people do. Okay, I won't make fun of his. I won't make, quote unquote make fun of his voice. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. I shouldn't make fun of. Him. But people like to do the pack trick where it's like you know take the back three or four or whatever it is and slap and, and like make sure you push it to the back so that the so that way the rares are always in the back instead of having a couple uncommons in the back. But I don't. I won't do that. I just do like this. So. Charmander with I'm gonna read these too because I still I st even though I don't play the TCG I still like to learn what's going on with the meta so to say uh, 10 damage tail on fire for one search your deck for fire energy and attach it to this Pokemon oh that's a good builder that's a good builder for to build up to the Charizard that's inevitably in this set uh, we got Eevee oh this Eevee okay it's not Radiant Eevee which is in the set uh, whiny voice, choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card and shuffles it into their deck. Hey, you know that card, you know that one card had in hand that you've been top decking and holding on to? Uh, yeah, to put that card away because I don't care what it is. I don't want you to have it anymore. <laughs> and then, uh, tackle for 20. Man, the light is really harsh. It's kind of hard to see this, I'm well aware. I wish I could adjust the light, but at least you can see the art to some degree, right? And then we got... Numel. If I hold it... Okay, if I hold it closer to my face, you... If I do that... It's okay, it's like impossible to see these. Haha, <laughs> professionalism, what is that? Uh, tackle, fire, a one fire, one colorless for 20. Stomp, 50 plus, two fire, and, and a colorless with coins. If heads, it does a 20 more. Wow, that's actually... Potential of 100 damage on a Numel? That's not bad, actually. I realize Pokemon health now goes up to like 300... 70 in some scenarios, but that's not bad for damage. On a basic, that's not bad. Uh, we got the Alolan Raticate. Uh, chase up, search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay, a draw mechanic Pokemon. Nice. And then, is that Super Fang? Yeah, it is. Put damage counters in your opponent's active Pokemon until... Ooh! Until 10 HP is remaining. Basically, I cough from death. That's mean, especially because a lot of decks will revolve around those super healthy Pokemon that are just like, yeah, it's got 500 health. Oh, no, it has 10. GG, shake my hand. Uh, I should do it like this, so that way I'm not surprised. So, as uh, Pita? Tranquil. Area lace for 20 plus, flip a coin, flip a coin, flip a coin to find out if it does 20 more damage, and flat for 30 for two colorless, so all colorless energy. Flying's always been like that. Ooh, I think that's a reverse reverse foil of Zapdos. Yeah, it is a reverse foil of Zapdos. Oddly enough, this would pair well with the Pikachu's. So, the oh, actually, why is this the one you can actually read halfway decently? So your basic poke, your basic lightning Pokemon's attacks, except except any Zapdos, do ten more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, if it's not Zapdos, it does ten more damage. And then Electro Ball for 110. Uh, I think it's two lightning and a colorless there. Why can't I read Zapdos? One of the brightest colors in this set. Why can't I read this card the best? And the rare, I haven't even seen it because I just flipped, is... Oh, that's Venusaur! My baby? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I've actually read... Okay, so Solar Beam, four for 130, by the way. Uh, Loopy Lasso. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. And the new active Pokemon is now both asleep and confused. Bruh. <laughs> Sauce. Goaded. Sauce. <laughs> and that's... And it doesn't have... And it's like, this doesn't have to be the active Pokemon to make it work too. This is just like, it's sitting in your bench once a turn. Alright, bring that out. Bring out that Pokemon. Oh, by the way, it's asleep and confused. Uh, start flipping coins or, and take or take damage over time. Meanwhile, I'm going to build the bench. How's it going? 
that seems like a strong, strong card actually. It's not a it's not a uh, it's not like a hidden uh, full art or secret rare, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna card or sleep, but fire energy because energies are always a thing. Lunatone. Uh, actually, Lunatone apparently. Lunatone is like part of a set of Lunatone, Soul Rock, and Mewtwo. Where like it all it does all it does is like the Soul Rock powers up this Lunatone, this Lunatone powers up Mewtwo, and Mewtwo says goodbye. Uh, cycle draw for one psychic energy. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw three. So what is it called? Scry three? Yeah, scry three. Uh Moon Kinesis for three colorless. This attack does 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to it. So 120 for three on this Pokemon? Not bad actually. Pretty good. And I think we only got like two more cards. Uh, we got Chansey, Delicious Egg, heal 30 damage from one of your bench Pokemon. Help. I should like pre-install a shadow. Anyway, there you go, and I can barely see it. But yeah, Chansey, heal, and gentle slap. And oh hey, I got the Ivy Sword to go with it. And I think that's to the top. Okay, Ivy Sword. Summoning Aurora for one for one uh, grass energy. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck and raise a leaf uh, for 60. So, this Ivysaur, good for getting out your Venusaur. If, if it's forced to be out, out in the battlefield. Okay. Hey, not a half bad, not a half bad deck. Or not a half bad start to this. Yeah, it's not a half bad start, actually. I will say that Venusaur, like, that Venusaur feels like the goofiest and aw most awesome thing in this in a set so far like growing up a lot of uh, I'm, I'm not above this but like growing up a lot of us playing any kind of game were just like oh no go straight for the ungabunga damage don't worry about secondary effects now as an older person like I understand strategy I'm like looking at this and just like I can literally shut down your entire team and everything behind it with a with something that's just on my bench for free Anyway, Larvitar, Rock Smash, 1 for 10, and flip a coin for 10 more damage. Uh, hit him on top? No, it looks like a Alolan something. Alolan Rattata. Hyper Fang for 50. Hyper Fang for 50. 2 energy. Flip a coin. If Tails, nah, ain't happening, fam. That's unfortunate. So you basically want to build straight up to eradicate for that one. Oh, it's been a wreck. I can't read it. Uh, poison Sting for 10. Flip a coins of heads. The, uh, the, the, the active Pokemon is not poisoned. I'm also looking at stuff in the corner, by the way. Uh, we actually have we actually got this Pikachu. This is the promo, so it's also a common. So we have that Pikachu. We've already seen it. Wimpod. That's an ability. Punk out. If your opponent plays any Pokemon V... Uh, has any Pokemon in V this... Oh! Gnaw for 10. Okay. So basically, this is the Pokemon you want to play if you know your opponent's going to have Pokemon V cards, because it basically says, retreat cost, ret uh, retreat cost of three? Nah, retreat cost of, get out, you will die. Uh, Tranquil. Okay, reverse foil Tranquil. Sorry, I'm not showing that very well. Oh, I should hold it down here. How do I get starters? How every time I play, every time I decide to open up packs for TCG, I get this. I get like what are like quote unquote the premier Pokemon cards from the set for my rares and whatnot, and then and then I never play the game. Uh, Vitality Spring. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to six energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck if you use this ability. Your turn ends. So basically, if you need an eco round without attacking, you use this Blastoise. Oh. It it's attack is typeless too. It's just four colorless hydro pump for 90, 30 more damage for each water energy. So you can, so you can get it up to 210 damage on hydro pump if you need to, but this is colorless. This can go in any deck. The Venusaur Blastoise deck might be pretty strong. Hold on. <laughs> and just build grass energy from there. Psychic energy. We got, I think it's, oh, I can't see it. It's, oh, Zatu. Pinpoint Wave. This attack does 90 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon V. This damage isn't affected by uh, weakness or resistance. And Mind Bend for 50. The active Pokemon's confused. Okay. 
So this is a this is the Pokemon you would this is definitely a Pokemon you would run if you want to like you say like if your opponent's running all Pokemon V, um, also known as Pokemon GX or Pokemon Max, not Max. Um, I guess V is just what it's become now in the last like four or five years, hasn't it? So if your opponent if your opponent's playing a lot of Pokemon V and it's just like oh my po my Pokemon's about to die, let me move it to the bench so it doesn't die, snipe it. Even stuff that's uncom like in the TCG, even stuff that's uncommon in rarity, still pretty good. The stuff that's common, that's where we start to waver. And is that Tranquil again? I, again, I can't see this very well. No, that's uh, Blanche. Okay, so each of the team leaders actually have an effect. Uh, Cinder, I forget her name. Cinder, Blanche, and Spark have this. All have the same thing, but like the uh, the energy that's going to show here is representative of their team type. So draw two cards. If you drew any cards this way, flip a coin. If heads, attach water or fire or, le or electric. Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So it's a draw two cards and you got a 50-50 shot of also getting uh, energy. I like it. And I think we're, yeah, we're back to, the, are we back to the top? No, that's, hey, that's the Soul Rock I was talking about that goes with the Lunatone and the Mewtwo. Uh, sun energy. Once during your turn, you may attach a, a psychic energy card from your discard pile to any of your Lunatone. And spinning attack for 50. AC kick back on. I'm actually feeling good again. And we're back to the top. So hey, we got the Blastoise and the Venusaur. And my reverse foil was just Trinkle, yeah. So, yeah, we've actually gotten some... I will say, like, the Zatu... Like, so far, the Zatu, the Venusaur, and the Blastoise, pretty good combination of uh, Pokemon, actually. Like, this, I, I actually kind of like what I've gotten so far. Then again, I haven't opened up Pokemon packs for, like, at least six months. So this is just kind of a splurge and a little bit of fun time for me. Now, if I was professional, I would also have a pa uh, pack cam set up. But, uh, I already said, professionalism, out the goddamn door. We don't do, we are not professional in this household. All right, and I think I ruined myself because I saw something on the corner. I think I see, a, I see two things. I gotta look at something. Hold on. Oh no, they're just jammed together like that. Never mind. Yeah, they're just slammed together. So I guess not. Actually, I I already know what one of these cards is, but I gotta look at something here. Okay, no. So anyway, let's go do this like normal. So, holding it like this. So, I think that's Apom? No, it's Amapom. Primary Dexterity. If any damage is done to this Pokemon, it attacks the coin. If heads were fed. Lull, you don't hurt me. Just lull, no damage to the Pokemon. Uh, full Tilt Fling for one. Uh, flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This, ta uh, this attack does 60 damage for... Okay. The coin flip Pokemon. This is the coin flip card. The thing is, I don't think there is a limit to how many energy you can attach to one Pokemon. I don't think there is a limit. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to be quote unquote ballsy, spend all your time putting energy on Ambipom. Have like 20 energy on Ambipom. You're just like, all right, I hope you're ready for a bunch of coin flips. All right, I should, I should be facing towards you. So not to nap. I'm trying my best. Uh, nap, heal 20 damage, and peck, uh, deal 20 damage. Interesting. Hey, I got the whole line. I can actually play the. I can actually play the set now. Uh, Vine whip for 10, razor leaf for 20. Slowpoke. Okay, this actually is funny because I saw what my uh, reverse foil was. Hold still, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Hold on, get the angle, get the angle, angles, 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 good enough. And Ideal Fishing Day. This, these all cost one, so use one water energy for this. Uh, put an item card from your discard pile into your... Ooh. That's a nice item retrieval card. Sacrifice it for one of your... Uh, sacrifice it for one of your uh, prize cards that your opponent gets. And then use it to just re recover an item that's really quintessential to your deck. I like that. I like that, actually. Uh, Rock Smash. We've already seen this Larvitar. I know you can't see it super well because of how I, ha I have them set up and I'm super and I have the camera uh, light super bright. My bad. 
Uh, slow bro to go with the slow poke. Tumbling tackle. Both active Pokemon are now asleep for 20. One for 20. This is, oh, this is colorless too. Hold on. I was joking about the Venusaur Blastoise deck. It might be the Venusaur Blastoise deck. <laughs> uh, Twilight Inspiration. You can take, you can use this attack only if your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining. Take two prize cards. What is this? <laughs> bro, what? Slow bro, by the way. Bro, what is this? Like, what actually is this? This is nutty. Just like, haha, I have. Just like, get get your, get your opponent built up. Just be like, okay, I you may have not won a Pokemon, but I have an entire bench full. I have an entire bench full of Pokemon. I'm going to gear up, and you have nothing. What are you going to do? Have all slow poke into slow bro and just start taking my prizes and win by taking all my prizes over the next three turns. Make it quick. <laughs> That's mean. That's mean. You can also cause both Pokemon to be a. You can also make both both Pokemon asleep. If you want to run the dice, that's actually kind of funny. Oh, we already have this Pikachu, though. Oh, no, no, this is a different Pikachu. This is... I think I have all three Pikachus from this set now. Unless there's more. Cat Pikachu. Uh, well, charge for 90. This Pokemon takes three, does three damage to itself. So, so it's a gamble. Fighting Energy. Uh, on Pheasant, Gust for 30. Hurricane Wing for 2. Uh, 70 times 4, potentially 4, so potentially 280 damage, but you have to get, at, but it does 70 damage for each heads you flip, camera up, split bomb, this attack does fade damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon, ooh, I like attacks like that, and head blast for 120, and big boy Steelix, body slam for 70, flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, meaning it can't do anything next turn, and iron buster for 4, Expensive. Uh, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. That's 170, so it's beefy, but, uh, well, much like, uh, Koi put there, it's Hyper Beam. That's pretty good. I haven't been able to show the, uh, a little bit of the gimmick with this, so I hope with this last pack, we can actually see the gimmick of this. I understand now why people actually enjoy doing these pack openings, because you can talk and BS, talk strategy. Then again, if I stream, if I stream, next time I stream, there probably won't be any Pokemon packs, because this is not... Doing this is fun every now and again, but it's not lucrative enough of a, of a biz of a bit module for me right now, where I can just do this free free will. So let's do it like this. P Dove, I can run the whole tranquil line now. Bulba baby, what are you playing? Oh, second density three. That's why. Bulba baby, Squirtle, I can't run the the Blastoise line yet. Any Water Gun, one for twenty. The doof. Beware. The doof. It strikes. It strikes when you least expect it. Uh, take down for 50. Three. Three for 50. That's expensive and does 10. This is not worth it. I hope that beaver roll is nice. What? Th oh. Okay. I spoiled myself. You may have sold it. So Onyx, which actually will go with the Steelix. So Rock Tomb, three for 50. Do your opponent's next turn. The opponent, the defending Pokemon cannot retreat. And Raging Swing for four. This text does 50 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Ooh. Each damage. So if you get. Disgusting. I would run this Onyx. Like, I would, unironically, I would run this Onyx in a deck. Simply because Raging Swing. The Raging Swing there. That's like perfect. That's like a perfect move. Just be like. Haha, ha, you've damaged your Pokemon. Now what you do against my 370 health... Uh, yeah, my 370 health um, uh, Mewtwo V-Star. I'm going to use Raging Swing. Uh, it does 50 times 10 because I have 10 damage counters. Uh, 500 damage, what do you do? And then Reverse Foil that. Okay, we didn't get it. So, I will say there's a gimmick. I think it's only on reverse the Reverse Foils of this set. But on the Reverse Foils of this set... Uh, down in the corner there, where we, well, I know the camera's not zooming in properly because it's trying to focus on my face. Hi, my lovely face. Um, that little F next to the stat symbol, the F there, is, if it's ever a ditto, that means the top layer of this card can be peeled off and you got a ditto from the set. Anyway, oh, uh, good, good finisher. Lapras. 
So Lapras, Ice Beam for 20, flip a coin, it pads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, and Surf for 110. Pretty basic. Uh, v Star card, okay. So we never saw, we haven't seen a v, uh, v Pokemon yet, but these, the V Star card, basically, uh, V Star is basically the ace in the hole maneuver of the of Pokemon TCG right now. Where it's based, uh, by the way, I'm learning all this because I haven't played, actually played the TCG in like eight years at this point. Uh, basically, the V Star is like a ace in the hole move. It's just like, okay, I need something to swing me back a win. I'm going to use my V Star ability and or attack. Oh, by the way, you get one of those attacks per game. Not per Pokemon, per game. They're that strong. So, these V-Star counters are basically there. It's like, okay, well, I've now used my attack, so I no longer have my V-Star attack. So, it's a good utility thing. Anyway. Uh, egg Incubator. Camera angle, camera angle, angle, angle. Oh. Yes, let me shove it in the shadow of my face. That helps. God damn it. Uh, flip a coin. If heads, search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Put it into your, put it onto your bench and shuffle your deck. If tails, put this egg incuba incubator onto the bottom of your deck instead of into the discard pile. Not bad. Ah, uh, Charmeleon. Scratch. Grounder. Scratch for thirty. And flamethrower. It's, it's, flamethrower has always been. Use it. Discard a fire energy attached to the Pokemon. And woo, rare candy. Rare candy. Uh, skip stage two evolutions. Just the basics of it. Rare candies are always are like always good if you get it whenever they're in the set, because you can go from Squirtle to Blastoise or Bulbasaur to Venusaur, for example's sake. So rare candies are always good. So no full arts or no full arts or secret rares in that, but or even the gimmick of Ditto hiding underneath another card. But actually, let me make sure of something, because I only have one source on this. I only have one source in this. I don't know if it's available on every card, so I'm going to thumb through all the cards here and see if the uh, gimmick is hiding somewhere in plain sight. Okay, no, I didn't. I didn't get the. I didn't get the gimmick of a uh, ditto hiding on on the in the cards. So what I will say though, is if you do pick up any of the packs from the Pokemon Go crossover set, always check. Hopefully, it looks a little bit better here. Cover my face, so it actually will zoom in on the card. Of course, I won't. So that little symbol, lower left corner, just above my thumb. If that little F down there is instead a little picture of a ditto, you got a ditto in the. You got a ditto card. Peel it off like a sticker. There's a ditto. Anyway, that's the Pokemon Go set. And I think what I'm going to do is... It's nothing super awesome, but I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull out the... Uh, not the reverse foils. I'm going to pull out the just the rares and stick it into the pile of... Welcome back, Koi. I'm just going to stick these all into the... Because I have uh, card sleeves, we'll say. I do have... Uh, not card sleeves, uh... Baseball card page things, whatever you want to call those. I do have those. So I will probably, at some point, I still have some other stuff I have to sleeve. So I will do that. I don't have like penny sleeves nearby, so I can't utilize it. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that Zapdos. So we got five rares. Five rares, four packs. Not bad. We also got the, we also got the Slowbro, which is still bonkers to me. I'm just going to pull these. I'm going to pull these stickers aside and throw it on top of everything once I'm done. Okay. So as I said... Next, I would go on to this other tin, which is the Hisuian, basically a Hisuian, uh, Hisuian Typhlosion tin, or the, the Arceus set, whatever they call that set. So with this, and I'm just opening stuff up as I feel. So with this, uh, it comes with a code card. So you can unlock this in the TCG game, which I should probably, one of these times, should just give this out. Oh, oh yeah, I put the Pikachus in there. But I never use it, so I'll probably find them at some point and just like give it to people in the future. People who actually play it that I know in the future, who played actually play TCG in the future, we'll do. I'll do that. I'll be weird about it because I like being weird. Oh, oh, that's neat. It's got a little. Okay, this might be better for storing stuff. 
So we'll talk about this uh, Hisui Typhlosion V in just a second. That's the promo. But I want to move stuff. I want to move things. Uh, yeah, actually, let's do that instead. So I'm getting a couple tins set up uh, here, basically for garbage and then for actual cards to sort through. Because the Hisuian, the Hisuian tin has like these trenches in here that I think you can like stick decks in. So like it's actually a deck holder, a deck, a deck mover. So we can do that. Anyway. But anyway, as I was saying, this Hisuian Typhlosion V, which you can't see because of shine. Actually, no, that's a perfect shot right there. Uh, Singe for nothing. Like, okay, can you even see that? Barely. So, if it has, like, nothing there, if it's just, like, a colorless gray thing, that means it costs nothing to use that attack. So, Singe, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. I think it's just, it's, 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 like, basically, like, poison where it just does X amount of damage to every, to every turn. And Petrifying Flame. Three for 120. Choose a random card. Choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card and shuffles it into their deck. Okay, we had something like this in the Go set, so this is pretty good. This is pretty nice. You know, basically the, hey, you don't get to play that card. Well, I like I like jerk events like that. Anyway, so as I said, as I said, this one came with five packs, and I'm going to take just as long on it because I have problems with pacing. So, each ni san yong go. Let's go. Am I going to count in Japanese every time I do that? Probably. Why? Because I have a problem. That I need to do Japanese occasionally just to remind myself of what I've known. Also, I will say, the thing I the thing I learned about, um, the thing I learned about with the Ditto and also the pack, the things that still give me interest in playing TCG is, again, my friend Maryland, Devin, as I've been saying. Like, him pl him doing pack openings like this, she keeps me interested in the TCG. Like, probably not to the point of playing it, but, hey, if you ever want to see, uh, if you ever want to see somebody who does at least, like, know more of his stuff, because he's actually, what is it? There actually is a quiz you have to take to become an officiator for Pokemon events now. Like, you actually take a physical quiz to become an officiator for Pokemon TCG tournaments. He is licensed in that aspect. As weird as it sounds to say, I'm licensed to touch these cards and tell you what they do. There is, you do get kind of a license to do that. So he's knowledgeable on the game, he's an officiator for the game, and he's also a partner with the Pokemon company for a lot of stuff. So he gets a lot of stuff and gets to show a lot of stuff to people. So if you ever want to see more card opening stuff, check out Maryland. I'm not saying it's just because he's a friend. I'm saying it because he actually is very good at what he does with the TCG stuff. Anyway, Chitot. Uh, collect, draw a card. Jabber on. These are both for one, by the way. During your opponent's next turn, defending Pokemon can't retreat. Ooh. I kind of... I like no retreat things. Anyway, let's hold it like this so I can do this. Also, again, not doing the pack trick because I'm weird. Psyduck. Spacing out. Flip a coin. If heads heal, head damage. And ram for 20. Lighting. Drifloon. Yeah, that's a little better. Except I can't see it. Uh, triple spin. Flip three coins. This attack does th uh, 10 damage for each heads. Pseudo Wudo. Vamos. <laughs> if this Pokemon has any damage on encounters, it has no retreat cost. Uh, double edge for 30. This attack does 30 damage to itself. So, hey, double, double, just like attack once, my, your opponent gets something, uh, gets something out that can, that can potentially do damage. I'm out of here. I like it. It's funny. Magnemite. Uh, magnetic Glitch. For one, search for three metal energy cards from your discard pile and put them into your deck. And rolling attack, a metal and colorless for 30. Uh, ooh, Rapidash. Reverse foil Rapidash. Okay. It's, it, unfortunately, it's not the shiny one that you're forced to catch. Or the shiny Ponyta, rather. Uh, combustion. For 30 and Ring of Fire for 50. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned during your opponent's next turn. That Pokemon cannot retreat. And Hisuian Avalug. Massive Ice. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. After applying weakness and resistance. And Mountain Gale. It's uh, eh, its signature move. Uh, if a stadium card is in play, this attack does 120 more damage than you discard the stadium. It's 100 normally. So... 
interesting story about Avalog. Also, let me just put my rares aside. So interesting story about Avalog, like Hisuian Avalog. I love Hisuian Avalog's design. I do like it. It's just unfortunate that it's just like, it's just like, oh, you're going to throw a hand at me? Oh, I'm a die. <laughs> I do love Hisuian Avalog. Like, I actually used one. It's actually a really, I really love all of it that it is. It's just that I also know it's a very bad Pokemon. You can love a Pokemon and know that it's terrible. So saith everybody who plays Dunsparce, or uses Dunsparce, or likes, uh, like Shuckle. <laughs> uh, Dunsparce and Shuckle, someday you'll get your time to shine, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Let's see, Krikatoon, Swelling Toon, phrasing. Uh, your grass Pokemon in play, except for this Krikatoon, get 40 more HP. Uh, you cannot apply any more than one count of this effect and slash for 50. So that's a bench, that's a bench setter. Be sharp. Benchful cut this attack is 30 more damage for each damage counter on all of your bench Pawniers. Pa I almost lost his like, ooh, all Pokemon? No, Pawniers. So just have a bench of, of hurt, uh, just have three hurt Pawniard on your bench. And they just go crazy with the Benchful cut. And then Slicing Blade for 90. Yeah, it's situational, but it could work. Choi. Each player reveals their hand. Draw three cards. Intel. Choi is an Intel card. Okay. Nice. It's always good to have Intel, especially if you got a card that's just like, pick, opponent, pick, pick an opponent's card. Des delete it from the game. Huh? Delete it from the game. Huh? You heard me the first two times. Alright. Oh, wait. Uh, code card going away. Alright, so we got Hoot Hoot, uh, Stan Sentry, uh, basic energy attached to your bench Pokemon, can't be discarded by any- oh! Protects the energy cards on the bench, that's nice. And then Flap for 20. Hey, speaking of that, Pawniard, we- with, that goes to Bishar with the Pawniard. Uh, Reckless Charge, this attack to- ooh, oh! And it has one retreat cost, so, okay, so in my head, I'm developing a strategy for this Pawniard setup. Basically, put this Pawniard out with one- uh, with one steel energy, or, sorry, one metal energy, have an attack once or twice, like right out the gate, and then bench it, and then build up another Pawniard, or build up another Pawniard into a Bisharp, and then start just having that thing swing for the fences. One for, for with one metal energy that you could probably get back with a Magnemite. Anyway, Poochiana. Gnaw for 10, Slight Intrusion for 30. This Pokemon also does 10 damage to itself. Yanma, to, uh, 20 for 1. Sorry, it's really hard to show this off. Oops. Well, I can see my reverse foil is the Ponyta. To go with my reverse foil Rapidash. Oh, yes, I have top tier Rapidash. How dare you question it. Uh, Drifloon. We've already seen the Drifloon. Ponyta. Flame Tail for 1 for 20. And Hisuian Overquill. This stupid, this stupid Pokemon. Quillfish got an evolution. It keeps trying to learn water moves, even though it's now Dark Poison. It's great. I mean, I guess it's great for offsetting, for like offsetting your opponent's expectation of a dark poison type. But come on, stop learning water pulse. You're a physical attacker. <laughs> anyway, dirty press. Ooh, dirty laundry. Uh, dirty press. If you have at least three colorless energy in play, this attack does 90 more damage. So 30 for one, potentially up to 120. And pierce for 70, two for 70. Hey, there's that bogus V Star card. Get it out of here. Uh, Feather Ball, search your deck for a Pokemon that has no retreat cost, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Intel card. It's an item card, so you can use as many of these item cards as you want in a, in a deck, or at a time. But Feather Ball? Feather Ball's pretty, I you know, this is pretty good. You know, Intel, if you like, okay, where's my no retreat Pokemon? Oh, there it is. Or if you go through your deck, it's like, my Pokemon has no retreat cost, it's nowhere in here. It's in my prizes. Intel cards. Uh, Wish Cash. Mudshot for 80 for 3. Thrash for 4 with 120. Flip a coin if Tails' Pokemon also deals 60 damage to itself. So, flip a coin, an extra 60 damage is going somewhere, either to yourself or the opponent. Sweet Honey. Choose one of your Pokemon and then flip a coin until you get Tails. For each head. <laughs> for each heads, heal 40 damage. 
So Liz could effectively be a full heal if you did it right. Light, camera. Welcome to having to run multiple lights so you can actually properly use a green screen. Things don't show up. And we're back to the top. All right. I did pull up my... I don't think I pulled up my rear. Nope. Because it was the overquill. That's why I couldn't tell it was the rare, because I didn't even get a holographic one. I got a boo-boo baby. Boo-boo baby basic. Why did I say it like that? Don't question things. Oh. Wait, what do I even get? What do I have an opening? So, Astro Radiance. Okay, so there's only there's only two packs of Astro Radiance. There's a Brilliant Stars here, so I'm going to save that Brilliant Stars for last. I think... Brilliant Stars and Shining Fates have, like, something special to it. So let's instead go to Evolving Skies, because apparently that's just how we work now. We don't we don't have all Astral whatevers in it. We, we, mix, we mix and match packs now. Which, I guess I'm not too, super salty about that, but, I mean, just a little bit salty. I mean, cold card going in the bucket. So... I wish I could get it all set up better. Anyway, Slack off. Two for 30. This Pokemon is now asleep. Smack and Slack is what it's called. Flabebe. Hypnotic Gaze. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep for one. Carvana. One for 10. Two for 20. Mm, love it. Dwebble. Also, I knew, I don't know if it's the actual way to say it, but I, I know I think I say Dwebble weird. Just because of how it is up here. Like, Dwebble. I feel like I'm uwu speaking when I say its name. Dwebble. Hello, so would you like some Dwebble? <laughs> okay. Ram, one for ten. Or Sharp Claws for ten plus. Flip a coin if has does thirty more. So, potential for forty damage there. Uh, Mareep. One for ten. Two for thirty. Lombre. Wave Splash. Two for fifty. Altaria. Oh yeah, dragons are... Dragons are keep like coming in and out of the Pokemon set. So we got Altaria here. Uh, tempting Tune. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a supporter card. Reveal it, shuffle it into your deck, and then put it on the card on top of your deck. And then, water, one water and one metal glide for 60. So this is a bench sitter. Just so you can get your supporter cards faster. But yeah, that's my, uh, rare for the set. Not even, not even holographic. Oh, I should have known. I've gotten super awesome uh, reverse foils and then... I don't get holographics. Anyway, look at my invisible grass energy because of how green screens work. Mm, it's lovely. It's quite fantastic. I can't it. <laughs> Change. That's how I work. Anyway, tackle. Two for 30. Take down. Three for 80, but 20 damage to itself. Shopping center. It's a stadium. During, during each player's turn, that player may put a Pokemon tool attached to one of their Pokemon into their hand. Palpatoad. That's actually pretty awesome art. I know you can't see it very well, but it's pretty awesome art. Uh, Stampede. One for 20, or Tongue Slap, three for 50. Okay. That was actually a slightly underwhelming pack, I'm not gonna lie. More Evolving Skies. Also, I know like there are there are methods to opening a pack packs a lot simpler. I just don't do it. Anyway, code card. Out of the back. So Fletchling. Tailwind draw. Draw a card. If you're if it's you go second, it's your and it's your first turn, you draw three cards. Surprise attack, one for twenty, and it can fail if you fail a coin flip. Tentacle, gen gentle slap, two for thirty. I like how we can just rifle through these really fast. I already saw what my rare is, I think. Uh, Pikachu, Energize. Attach a Lightning Energy card from your Dispel onto this Pokemon. Electro Ball, 3 for 30. Kind of bad. C Dot, 2 for 10. Choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that and puts it into your deck. Okay, there goes that. there's that again. Uh, Lillipup, Lee. Search your deck for a supporter card. Reveal it and put it into your deck. Into your hand. Then sh shuffle your deck. Tackle, 2 for 20. Scrafty, it's an uncommon at that. Headbutt, 2 for 40. Uh, 3 for 90 shakedown. Discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Alright, awesome. And ooh, single strike pincer. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, that's... Pincer's number one in this set. 
one out of 203. So, Vice Coach. Uh, damage from your single strike Pokemon attacks isn't affected by a resi Pokemon resistance. Nice. And then Seismic Toss, 3 for 10. That's not bad. That's a pr that's that's just a very good card. Like, nothing amazing about it, but nothing bad about it. It's just a good card. Lightning Energy, Vigoroth. Shatter, discard a stadium card in play for 20. That's actually pretty free to play, not gonna lie, still. And then Slash, 2 for 50. Hypno, uh, Hypnosis, 1. Wake Up Slap, if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a, spe a special condition, this attack does 90 more damage than that Pokemon recovers from all special conditions. So it's a two. So this one's a two-turn cycle. You put the uh, defending Pokemon to sleep. If they don't recover, you hit them with the Wake Up Slap to deal 120, and then you repeat the cycle as, as much as you're able to. Full Face Guard. It's a tool. If this, if the Pokemon this card is attached to you has no abilities, it takes 20 less damage. Nice. That pack wasn't half bad, actually. I really do like that Pinsir, even though it really only applies to single strike Pokemon. That's actually really cool. Also, I like how they brought about the single strike, multi strike, and uh, fusion strike system with a lot of sets. And then, as of the set that just came out, I guess it's the the go set. The, with the go set, there's none of that visible. Anyway, Brilliant Stars. This is an important set because this actually has a lot of interesting. This actually, I think this actually has a lot of like. This is where they start doing like the fan drawn full arts that you can get and also like there's radiance back in the game with this one so let's see if we get lucky enough so team char one for 30 for ember discard the and en 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 energy card and chino call for family draw two base or find two basic pokemon shuffle your deck pound for 10 ball toy triple spin we've seen this we've seen this on uh that drift loon earlier but it's 20 times each head instead of 10 snow runt icy breath uh, flip a coin if it has your active Pokemon, your opponent's opponent, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. And Icy Snow, 2 for 20. Nose Pass, 2 for, 1 for 20. Ice Q? Oh, that's a rare. Ice Q, Fusion Strike. Block Slider, this attack does 40 damage to one of your opponents, for, uh, to your opponent's Pokemon for each Fusion Strike energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Not bad. Ice Q is derpy, by the way, I love it. And then Icicle Missile for 100. So Block Slider if you've got a lot of Fusion Strike energies floating around. Otherwise, solid 100 for, for that damage. That's not bad. And then Magmortar with the... Uh, I don't know if you can see it that well, but with uh, Electivire chilling in the back. Itchy. Uh, Mega Punch for 2 for 50. And Bolt Explosion. If Electivire is on your bench, this attack does 120 more damage. Speaking of fusion strikes, so fighting energy, fresh water set, heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon, heal all, fantastic, the Cafe Master, choose up to three of your bench Pokemon for each one of those Pokemon, search your deck for a different type of basic energy card, and attach it to that Pokemon, then shuffle your deck, your turn ends. Eco round. Uh, Weavile. Ransack, flip two coins. If either of them is a heads, your opponent reveals their hand. For each heads, choose a card you find there and put it on the bottom of their deck. Ooh, milling. I love it. Uh, slash, three for a hundred. Weavile is just a troll. It's just a, a troll you one, so. Not a bad pack. I will say that wasn't a bad pack. Then again, I don't know. I don't know my meta. So that's it for the, Hisu the Hisuian Tim. And now we move on to the big one. The one's going to take the most time because as we're going to look at a lot of stuff. So Shining Fates. The Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. So here is another thing. For what? Well, for one. Well, hold on. For one, as I said, the stuff's down aside. For one, it comes with a book. I think these are... Uh, these are verbs, yes. A lot of times these books... They come with like basic rules for the game, like very basic starter for rules for the sets for the game. Uh, they come with strategies of decks you can potentially run, and then it comes with a somewhere in here, yeah, it comes with a checklist. It comes with a checklist of all the car. Uh, it comes with a checklist of cards, so you can like say, okay, I got this card or I got that card. 
But that's why I think I picked up the Brilliance, the Shining Fate set, because Shining is not just cute. If you can tell by some of the discoloration on a couple of these, every Pokemon has a shot. There are Pokemon in this set, and there are Shinies for almost every Pokemon in this set. I think you can tell it the most with the Ice Cube up there. Let's see if I can get you closer. Yeah, there you go, Shinies. So that's why, like, the Shining Fate set was so sought after, is because, like, there were Shinies. So anyway, so I'll probably keep this book around just because I would like a rule book reference in the future. But yeah, if you're buying an Elite Trainer box, this comes with it. And, once again, referencing my friend Devon, or Marilyn, these sleeves that it comes in, don't throw it away. Get a little creative. Get... I feel like I'm going to ruin this. Uh, get a little creative with your fingers. Put your fingers in places they shouldn't be. And very carefully... Pull off the st sticky, tacky stuff on the inside of the cardboard here. Just be careful while doing it. I'm looking at you while I'm doing this because for some reason I do better with doing careful jobs if I'm not looking directly at what I'm working with. Don't ask why. I have yet to figure out this phenomenon myself. It just works for me. But if you pull it aside, halfway decent poster. That being said, I might actually just give this to my nephews. I would, I don't think I would ever like put this stuff on my walls. But I may just give this to my nephews. So I'm just going to fold that up semi-nice. And set it aside. Do a little, do a little tack so it stays shut. It didn't stay shut. Alright. So again, these things... This one will take a while because there's a lot of stuff, so pull the tin apart. And let's go through the contents. Oh boy, cardboard! Oh boy, cardboard! Ah, no, this is the rule book. So that that player's guide is just more or less like strategies and a count of everything. Here is a rule book. This is something I'm going to keep with me because I would like to occasionally keep up the tab on rules. Now as I pull stuff aside, we'll get to the packs later, because the packs, we have to save that for later. So, packs. Ten of them, by the way, so we have a lot to go through. We've opened nine packs, by the way, if everybody's keeping track. Let's see, special counters, which I'll show them, but I won't open these. But I do like that die. Isn't that... Oh yeah, the die is kind of boring, but eh, whatever. Let's see, uh, we get... Okay, I'm just pulling stuff apart. I'm, I'm not going to pull everything out of its cases. Uh... That's a code card, which I'm going to keep for myself. Does it? Does this note what it's from, by the way? Okay, yeah, it does have something on the bottom that says what it's from. So I will keep that code card for myself. I may just keep this in its sleeve, actually. So, now this Elite Trainer Box, I think is probably one of the best Elite Trainer Boxes, which is why I'm shocked at my local Walmart. There are still 10 of them sitting there. Probably also because they cost 40 bucks a, pay, a piece. But it comes with uh, card sleeves. Now I now I already I already own a set of card sleeves that I would probably use for any decks I'm gonna make. That all, that is a Mega Man set. Basically, it has Me Tool on it. But yeah, these are well actually actually because of how it's set up, it's a matte finish. So like you guys can see it, but it's Gigantamax Eevee. And these are very nice. But these I as uh I as I'm pulling notes from Mar uh, Maryland's set is. These car, these uh, decks, those deck sleeves, are very much made for. This is a deck I will be playing. This is not for sleeving my cards so I can protect them. Because because they're a little tight. When you get the card in there, it takes it takes a lot of effort to get the card out, and you're gonna ruin the card trying to get it back out. That's how tight these sleeves are. Toit. But they're really nice. I do like these. So I now own. Uh, I think it's 65 sleeves. Let's see. Dude, I still have the. Yes, I do still have the thing. <laughs> it's this. Uh, 65? Yeah. It's 65 sleeves, so you have 60 cards for your deck, and then 5 for if anything, if any of them get ripped, or if you want a sideboard. Sideboarding basically means I have X amount of cards that I can change in if I feel like something in my deck won't work with what my opponent has. That's more for a map. 
Oh, hello, Mr. Platinum Rhythm. But I'll, pro but, um, but yeah. Cyborging is more or less a Magic the Gathering term. It's not so much for Pokemon, but eh. Whatever. So that's nice. I, I do like these, I do like sleeves like this. Welcome, Plat. Um, and anybody else that may have slid in. I am just, I bought some Pokemon cards. I bought some Pokemon cards, so I'm just opening that because this is the first time I've streamed in like five months. So, something I will keep inside of its sleeve because I'm dumb is, I guess this comes with the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box, is a, is a EV, or uh, EV Gigantamax. Or I guess they call it VMAX. Big EV, big full art EV. Uh, it has 300 health. G Max Cuddle. During your opponent's next turn, if the defending Pokemon tries to attack, your opponent flips a coin. If tails, that attack does not happen. Ooh, it's me. Ooh, it's nasty. Ooh, it's nasty. If I get a V Max EV, just know that I may make like put this in any deck I can. This is actually a pretty good uh, Pokemon. A pretty good card, actually. <laughs> But that's the thing, because we actually haven't gotten VMAXs or anything like that yet. Uh, the rule with VMAX cards, because they have so much health and are so oppressive with their attacks. Uh, the VMAX rule, if the Pokemon in question is knocked out, your opponent takes three prize cards, half their prize pool. So that's how they balance it. So if you ever happen to lose that Pokemon, you have just given 50% of the game away. Anyway, other stuff that's in there. Uh, special condition markers. Cool, we've gone over that. <laughs> As I proceed to throw it away. Oh, other thing that's uh, semi-unremarkable. Uh, I'm going to open this up just to look. I am going to open this up just to look at this. Because this, uh, these are energies that come with every set. But I have to see if this is an, a set that has a uh, fairy energy still. Or if this is in the era. No. So, fairy energy was a thing for a long time, but they're starting to phase it out again. So, I guess I now have something that's kind of a unique collector's thing, sort of, uh, fairy energies. But every one of these League Trainer Boxes comes with 40 to 5 to 50 energy cards, and it's equally split amongst the several energy types in the game. So, it's basically starter energy cards so you can start building decks. So, that's always something nice to have when you, if you're like, so... Elite Trainer Boxes, if I didn't say before, Elite Trainer Boxes, if you can afford the $40 to $50 price tag, depending upon which one you get, they're fantastic if you want to get into playing Pokemon TCG and not just collecting the cards like, like I do. Because they'll get you some starter energies so you can have fun. With all, uh, well, we're not done yet. Uh, also in them, we have some dividers. These dividers... Uh, they're the same on both sides. Basically, you can divide up your rares, commons, whatever you want to do with these within the Elite Trainer box itself. And we're still not to the fun part yet because I have to show it off. Is dice. So, the, the more caramel colored dice you see here, these are damage counters. Uh, there's one for... Goes, that goes up to 180 on there. I don't know if you can see it that well. I'm not going to open this. But also with the TCG now, uh, you can no longer flip actual coins because apparently that's fixed in some aspects. So flipping coins is now a dice roll. So the dice for each one of these uh, Elite Trainer Boxes is always unique. The one is always unique in appearance. That's what the shiny face one looks like. Kind of looks like a shiny star for shinies. Aptly so. So anytime, you, so anytime in the game, if it says flip a coin, you roll that dice. Uh, I believe odds are, he, are yeah, odds are heads, evens are tails, or vice versa, one way or the other. But anyway, now that we're done look, looking at the contents of that, I know what you're here for. Oh, I know what you're here for. Let's get into these packs, these ten packs. Ich, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Nana, Hach, Kyu, Ju. You now know how to count in Japanese. Use that well. Don't use it well. Use it irresponsibly. <sighs> and then once I'm done with these pack openings, I'm going to go back to playing more Hollow Cure because Hollow Cure. 
That's what I set out to do today. That's what I'm going to do with my whole day. Until I get tired of streaming. And then I'm going to go back to uploading a copious amounts of videos because I have, I have uh, control issues. Anyway. Now, like I said, I think the, the Shining Faith set is either a small set. Yeah, it is a small set. It's only 72 cards, so we'll probably be flipping through this really quick. But there's a lot of shiny cards, either from previous sets or current sets, as of this set. This is like the oldest set I've opened up on, on this uh, segment so far. Um, so, there will probably see a lot of duplicate Pokemon through this, but we may see some shinies in here too. So, anyway, Trap Inch, uh, 1 for 10. If a stadium is a play, it does 20. Doesn't destroy it. Nick it. Enunciation. Important. Instigate for one. Your opponent shuffles their hand and puts it into the, onto the bottom of the deck. If they put any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way, they draw three cards. So make them constantly mill off their deck or give themselves too big of a hand size to play with. Uh, Rain Splash, one for 20 on Bleasel. Coughing. Ascension for one darkness. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it, in, put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. Okay, so it so it's a it's a turn to I'm gonna evolve this Pokemon, you can't stop me. Shinx. Uh, one for ten. If your opponent has three or fewer prize cards, this tax is fifty more. Ooh. Nice. So sixty if your opponent's halfway done to, with the game. Reverse foil, nick it. And oh Manaphy, the baby. Ocean Ocean Sir <laughs> Ocean Search. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your active spot, you may look at the top six cards of your deck, reveal a Pokemon you find there, and put it onto your or put it into your hand. Then shuffle the other cards back into your deck. So this is just straight up a turn. This is just straight up. I oh, can't see it. So this Manaphy is just straight up, you know, turn one. Because I think you can use ability. No, you can't. No, no. If you go first, you cannot use abilities. So this is a turn one use ability. Get your perfect hand, and then sacrifice it. That's that's effectively what that man if he boils down to. At least from what I can tell. I'm not a, I'm not a seasoned player, so I don't know if that's a strategy. Uh, Psychic Energy Team Yell Tall heal 50 damage from both active Pokemon. Thwacky, Lay of the Land. If you have a, I think this one's copyrighted. Sure, we'll go with that. Thwacky, Lay of the Land. Uh, if you have a stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Branch poke one for 20. Gym Trainer, uh, draw two cards. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw two more. Okay, situational card. Fair enough. I'm still... Uh, I realize it was like towards the start of this whole segment, but I'm still really happy I got that Venusaur. That Venusaur... That Venusaur from the Go crossover set is goofy. Goofy and amazing. It's just gonna sit on the bench and make your opponent upsetty forever. And a Grookey. Also, I don't know why I say Gru like that. I'm weird. Three swipes, uh, flip three coins, 10 damage for each head. We've seen that trap pinch. We'll be able to probably go through some of this pretty quick. The, the same coughing. Uh, Morpeko, we haven't seen it yet. Also, Dreadnought poking out. Morpeko, Famish, draw a card. Well, for one, Thundershock for two. Flip a coins, if heads your opponent's back focused on. Now, uh, Paralyzed. Horsey. Water Gun. For 1 for 10. Dreadnaw. Uh, Exoskeleton. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. And that's the end of the statement. Skullbash. 3 for 130. Thievil. Uh, oh, that's a rare too. Okay. That's a rare. Okay, cool. It goes in the pile of rares. So, Thievil. Call for, <laughs> call for goons. I'll answer that in a second, Koi. Call for goons. Ayo, hey, goon squad! <laughs> anyway. Call for goons. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. Why is Shy Guy my child? Well, Shy Guy is a mood. Shy Guy is effectively what I, I haven't even finished going over this card. Uh, corner, three for 80. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon cannot retreat. Shy Guy is my child because. Shy Guy has had zero design changes since his introduction. Or has had zero design changes since Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. He is perfect. Also, 
Mm, sorry, itchy. Also, because of, uh, what the frick. Also, he's a mood. Just, it's a he's a goofy guy that just does whatever he feels like. Anyway, metal energy. Thwacky once again. I forgot I'm not holding my cards right. Thwacky once again. Rusted shield. The, the zombies to see this card is attached to gets 70 HP. That's kind of bonkers. Dot tree. One for 40 on raised leaf. That's not bad. All right. I love you. You're supposed to say excuse me. No, I say I love you. Because if I say excuse me, I become a proper gentleman, and people don't want that. They want a disgusting. They want somebody who's disgusting, who will shove an entire Oreo cakester into his mouth and not apologize for the rock and salt and salt while it's the Oreo cakes Why did I pull out Oreo cakester specifically? Because I have a problem. Anyway. Oh no. Are you ready to meet God? Because God is ready to meet you. Snom. Call for family, which is a basic. Search your deck for, search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Put it on your bench. Uh, the same coughing. Cacnea, two for 50. Glo go uh, Gossifleur, one for 10, which is typeless. God has returned again. The Snom. Uh, oh, hey, that's a shiny. Shiny Dartree. That's why I meant by this set has a lot of shinies. Which, it's very green, so it's going to be hard to show this off. Yeah, so... Oop, this way. So, shiny Dartree. So, one for 40, but hey, that's a shiny. That's why you get shiny fates, because there's shiny cards in there. Shiny Pokemon, rather. And, indeedy. Oh, God, I got, like, phlegm stuck in my throat. Sorry. Indeedy. Helping hand. Uh, search your deck for a basic energy card and attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. Psych Ooh, typeless Psychic. Psychic uh, does 20 more damage for each energy card attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Two for 20, plus more. Uh, water energy. Eldegoss. Enriching seeds for one. Heal all damage from one of your bench Pokemon. Ooh, what? Ooh. Bruh? The support? The Eldegoss support? Uh, surprise attack, 1 for 50. Flip a coin. It tails, it does nothing. So this is basically the Pokemon you play just like, ah, uh, hey, you know that damage that I just took the last two turns of my bad decisions? Nah, fam. And then a dark tree. Lucio, top entry. Once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn and your bench is in, and your bench is not full, before you, before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench instead. And zap kick one for thirty. So basically, skip stage one for those Luxio. Not bad. And we're back to the top of the of the cards. So hey, all in all, even though we have not gotten a full art or a secret rare yet, we have at least gotten a shiny out of these shining fate sets. Me rolling round and round and watching him taking out his bombs to blow me from the ground. It may be a small place. Sorry, I like this song a lot. Anyway, uh, Rowlet, Sky Circus. If you played Bird Keeper from your hand, specific, very specific, from your hand during this turn, ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack cost. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's why it's so much. So, Wind Shard for three does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, the Trap Inch. Weasel, we've seen that, I think. So, Rain Splash, one for 20. The Coughing. The Shinx. Uh, reverse Foil, Morpeko. Yon Mega, Bug Bite, 1 for 30. And Nosedive, 2 for 120. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. Okay, so it's a quick attacker. Not a bad. Not a bad rare. Again, it's kind of like the Pinsir from earlier. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. Darkness Energy, Cramorant. We haven't seen Cramorant yet, actually. actually. Uh, spit Out Shot. Two water energy, this attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Ooh, it's a bench attacker, nice. Ooh, the rusted sword for the, for the Zacian V. Uh, the attacks do 30 more damage. Nice. Gym Trainer, uh, we've seen that one already, and we're back to the top. So yeah, the Shining Fate set is just going to go fast, because it's because the, there's 70 cards total. And when you think about how they have to, differ, they have to split it up in, like, you know, like... 
10% rares, 30% on commons, and then 60% commons. Well, there's only 70 car well, there's only 72 cards in the set. That basically leaves 10 rare. That basically leaves like eight rares, 24 on commons, and then you know 40 or whatever commons. Anyway. Cacnea, 2 for 50, I think we've seen that. Chuda, we haven't seen. Tackle, 1 for 10, three for tw or 2 for 30. I see something nice. You can't see it right now because my because of my how professional my setup is. Spinarak, 1 for 10, 2 for 20. Q-Fant, yeah! Uh, strength, 3 for 60. Cluster Fleur, Leaf Edge again. Oh, <gasps> dude! I think it's a shiny. Oh my god, that is a sh Yo, Clippers, get on that. That's a shiny. <laughs> that is a shiny full art. Sent to Scorch, that's my bug child. That, that. If listen, Joltik is still my favorite bug child, but that's my other favorite bug child. This is like my second favorite Pokemon. We ball it. Sent to Scorch V Max Shiny Full Art. We out here. Two for 40 plus G Max uh Centiferno. This attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, would you attach a fire energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon? There's no cap in the amount of fire energy you can put in this thing. This thing is bonkers. It's a shiny. It's a shiny. Uh, I went to go put something down. Hello, Kasai. Uh, you missed si shiny full art sent to Scorch VMAX. So I went to go put that down. And, uh, hey, look what's hiding underneath the, sp the precious little Alcremi. It's not full art, but I guess technically it's full art. I, no, actually, this is full art. Wow. <laughs> so, Alcremi V. Sugary Sprinkles. Uh, one Psychic. Thir heal three damage from each of your opponent's bench Poke from each of your bench Pokemon. And then 3 for 100, Sweet Splash. If the defending Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it can't attack at your opponent's next turn. This basically shuts down any V, any other uh, V cards or any other cards that are like, basically like Alcremie here. So that is two, two full arts in one pack. Poggers. Anyway, Kasai, I was playing a little bit of Holocure. I decided I would stop playing some, I decided I would stop and randomly open some Pokemon cards I've got earlier. So hey. Poggers, we just got, we just, we just struck it rich. Anyway, lightning energy. <gasps> it's a good plant. I know you can't see it because my camera is amazing, but it's Tropius. It's the good plant. I love this thing. Uh, one, attach leaves. Attach up two grass energy cards from your discard pile to your bench Pokemon any way you'd like. And two for 30 and gust. So it's a setup Pokemon. Not bad. And then Velorotum. Roto choice. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two item cards that have the word Rotom in their name. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Thundershock, 3 for 30. Flip a coin for paralysis. Yada yada, we've been here before. The same Rusted Shield. The Cacnea from the start. So hey, that was a baller pack. I don't have sleeves right next to me, otherwise I would use them, but uh, we're going to make that a Twitter picture in the future, so I'm going to set them right I'm going to set them off to the side. And yeah. Not bad. Not a bad pack. So there went all of my luck from the last 10. Let's say we did nine. We've opened up three of these so far, I think. That was the third. So all of my luck of not getting any full arts or rare or secret rares from any of the other packs I've opened just happened all in that one pack. I mean, minus the shiny dark tree we got earlier. Anyway. Oh, we haven't seen this Eevee. Although, I think it's actually an e a preprint of an Eevee from an older set. Oh, right. The uh, code card. Hehe, <laughs> you don't need that. Uh, Eevee, signals of evolution. Search your deck for a card that evolves from Eevee. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Basically, speed up evolution. And then wild kick for 30. Uh, if tails, it does nothing. Uh, the same horsey from earlier. The cacnea from earlier. So you'll be able to just rifle through all these other ones because, like I said, there's only 70 cards in the set. And so we're going to see the same 40 or 30 commons. Nick it. Again, enunciation. Ooh, re reverse file professor's research. Not bad. 
I should read it instead of trying to get rid of it right away, right? Although I think it's the same for every professor. Uh, discard your hand and draw seven cards. Restart. Uh, Zarud, Sandstorm. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Suctioning Vines. I have a MIDI in this set. Why do I have a MIDI in this folder? Sorry. Uh, Zaru, 2 for 30. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. And Jungle Blast, 3 for 110. Very basic. Very basic rare. Not saying it's bad. Just very basic. Itchy. Anyway. Lucio. Ball... Hey, it's Ball Guy. The homie. The you see this man? This is a homie. You ever see this guy while playing Sword and Shield? That's a homie. You go talk to him every time. Search your deck for up to three different item cards and have that have the word Maul in their name. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. The Tropius. And then the Eevee from the start. Ball guy. The homie. The, the hot shot. The mans. The big pogger G. Don't ever say those words again, Scooter. Too late! Sorry, I'm jamming out. Forgive me for jamming out. Anyway, code card goes in the, goes in the grievance. So anyway, we're back to this again. So the Eevee, the Nick it, the horsey. God has God has logged in. Snob. More Peko. Yo, that's a shiny thievel. This is why everybody likes this set, because it's all shinies. Thief, one for 20. Reveal your uh, your opponent reveals their hand. Choose a card of you find there and put it on the bottom of their deck. And then Darkness Fane for 90. Shiny Poggers! I should put... I should actually set those aside. Those shinies. Hit, hit, help, help. Help, I'm stupid. Help, 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 help. Mazda spilled my juice. Help, 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 help. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the internet it has ruined my... It is... I have the brain rot of the internet. You ever just get internet brain rot? Every day. Anyway. Decidueye. Deep Force Camo. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's V and G Max Pokemon. Baller. Baller. But at what cost? Uh, splitting Arrow. This attack does 20 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And it's two for 90. That's not bad. This Dark Tree, there's Decidueye. Not a bad Pokemon at all. Like, it's really good. Anyway, Fire Energy. The Cramorant we've seen earlier. The Team Yell Towel we saw earlier. The Thwacky we saw earlier. And then the Eve White. So, I got... We are done with three packs, so we're about to go back to we're about to go back to playing Hollow Cure because we're gonna go back to playing Hollow Cure. By the way, I'm well aware I shouldn't smile. You don't have to tell me twice. If you don't want your teeth to look terrible, actually take care of them. Unlike how I did, and don't drink soda. Unlike how I did. Anyway, Nick it. Annunciation is key. Grookey. Yanma, we're seeing a lot of these same Pokemon. More pickle. Chewdle. Uh, what? Poggers! <laughs> That's a Poggers moment. You can't see it. Now you can see it. That's a Radiant Reshiram. Radiant Reshiram. It has 120 health. It has a single attack of Amazing Blaze for a Fire, an Electric, and a Darkness energy, so a really hard setup, but this Pokemon does uh, 6 damage to itself, so it can only use the attack twice without healing before it dies. But it does a hopping 270 damage. Poggers! I actually would probably buy it if... if if I wasn't, like, if I wasn't didn't do this on the spree and I actually was investing in Pokemon cards in any extent, I would probably buy more of these Shining Fates uh, Elite Trainer boxes. 
simply for the packs because I see why people got the shiny fate why shiny fates was so good anyway boss's orders search one of your uh, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with this with their active mm, very nice mm, tasty actually uh, we're gonna put the EVV max in the set that's the promo card uh psychic energy Rusted Shield that we've saw before, Team Yell Towel that we saw before, Eldegoss that we've seen, which is pretty baller, and we're back at the start, I'm pretty sure. Yes. No? Yes. All right, code card goes away. Anyway, Morpeco, Coughing. We're going to rapid firings because we've seen this already. Glossy Flare, Cocknea, eh, words. Uh, Choodle, the reverse foil flaky. Aw, oh, they couldn't all be gamers or they couldn't all be winners. Ooh, Volcanion. I never got, I've never used this Pokemon or even seen it used. Either it's that bad, by the way, fire water type. I've never seen this thing used. So either it's terrible or it's so good it's banned. I don't think there's a middle ground. Anyway, hammer in two for 50. Dynamic steam, four for 120 times two. Flip two coins, 120 for each heads. That's, I don't like those odds. Metal energy, the same flacky, the same rusted shield. The same Rotom. And then the start of the start of the pack. See these go fast. Because there's only 70. Alright. Last pack. Do you think we're gonna do you think we're gonna strike a shiny full art once again? Or is this just gonna be a, a fluke? Desire sensor says it's a fluke. I played enough Monster Hunter. I know how the desire sensor works. Anyway, code car, gone. Which means I can actually start uh, picking up my, my battle station a little bit. Forgive me for picking up my... Forgive me. I'm somebody who likes to pick up my battle stage in a, as I go. Anyway. God has entered the server. Uh, Snom again. Grookey. Eevee. Morpeko. Choodle. The Reverse Flow Cramorant. Uh, the Yon Mega again. Actually, wow. That, that's a strikeout. That's an that's an end of that's an end of pack opening strikeout baby. Water energy, the same rusted sword, the same Eldegoss, the same Dutri, and then God has entered the server again. So all in all, I will say those because of Shining Fates, those last two packs of Shining Fates, probably the best of all that we've done here. Then again, that's kind of the point of it, right? So I'm gonna pick up my I'm gonna pick up my battle station just a wee bit here. Right, that don't fit. So that's just gonna have to go to the side somewhere. That's gonna go on the floor somewhere. So hey, we got some good cards. Most of it, most of the good cards actually came from uh, Shining Fates, understandably so. But we had fun. Uh, OU overused. So yes. The only thing above O, there's only two tiers above OU. It's Ubers, which is basically oh god, it may break, it may break the system. And then there's Band. There's a Band tier. Two Pokemon are in. I think only two Pokemon are in there, Greninja, and Mega Rayquaza. <laughs> At one point, Yon Mega was in there. Just regular Yon Mega was in there. Anyway, I'm just picking up a little bit. I might go put the stuff in the closet, minus the uh, goodies we got, and go pick up some penny and go grab some penny sleeves to keep 